alone on the cot. Maybe Naomi had fallen off or was using the bathroom and had gone in to find food. Then she heard something. Pushing herself up from the cot, Madison squinted into the darkness, trying to spot where the crying was coming from. She spotted a pale form in the on the in the one in one corner, in one corner, and realized it was Naomi crouched and facing the corner with her head down. She was still naked, her porcelain complexion standing out even in the darkness of the room. Madison scooted to the edge of the cot, her eyes locked on Naomi's backside. <laughs> Naomi, she called the young Asian woman. Are you all right? What is wrong? Naomi's sobbing came to a stuttering stop, and her head came up and turned to the side, looking over her shoulder at Madison. Her eyes looked incredibly and disturbingly black. But Madison chalked up the shadows running across Naomi's face. Leave me alone! Her voice was a half sob, half growl, blend in the Madison's sure skin. I don't want you to look at me. She turned away from Madison and dropped her head again. A moment later, her sobs returned. Madison's brow furrowed with concern. She stood from the cot, slowly approaching Naomi from behind. What's going on? Did you come down off the pain meds and now are you freaking out about what we did? Look, Naomi, I'm not going to tell anyone about it. I'll, like, give it, can, not give it, all of it can be a secret. She found herself standing over Naomi. She looked so fragile and pale. Had she always been this pale? It wasn't another trick of the light. She reached down to rest a reassuring hand on Naomi's shoulder, feeling Naomi's tense as her hand touched against the girl. Naomi's skin felt clammy, and Madison's worry grew. Maybe some of the fungus did get into the wound. She thought. <laughs> it could be inside of her feeding of her. <laughs> In the dark, it was hard to get the good look at her, but Madison realized Naomi seemed to be staring at something she was holding in front of her. No, Madison thought as her eyes slowly adjusted to the gloom, not holding. What did you get into your hands? She asked, trying to get a better look. Naomi pulled away from Madison and gave her shovel, uh, shovel gave her a shove back. I said I didn't want you to see. Just fuck off. <laughs> if there's something wrong with your wound, I need to see it, Madison replied sternly. <laughs> Doing her best to keep the worry out of her voice, she made a grab for Naomi's arm. She snagged it and pulled it from out of her body. Um, <laughs> she snagged it and pulled it out. Yeah, wrestling with the younger woman so she could get a proper look at the wound. At first it seemed normal. The palm of Naomi's hand started to pulsate. Like there was something pushing at it from inside. With a wet, tearing, tearing sound, the stitches split open. The gash in Naomi's hand gushed dark blood. <laughs> No, gushing wasn't accurate. It was as if the wound had split open so it could spit a wad of blood down her forearm. The wound that in the gush of blood spurt free before splitting further open. Madison let out a shocked scream as she spotted jagged teeth push out from each side of the torn skin. She realized her hold on Naomi's arm and backed away quickly, recoiling from the horror that had sprouted from the girl's palm. What the fuck? <laughs> she grasped, trying to figure out the proper course of action, as if a proper course of action from waking up to find your lover's grown a fucking demon mouth in her hand. <laughs> She'd been worried that Naomi might have been contaminated by the fungus, but she hadn't suspected anything like this would happen. Maybe some kind of hybridization between the fungal spores and our human genes, if that's even possible? <laughs> she needed to get Naomi to the infirmary so Cain could examine her and, if need be, amputate it. <clears throat> it wouldn't be easy. 
The way Naomi had struggled when Madison had simply grabbed her arm made it very clear the girl wouldn't come along willingly on a trip to the infirmary. I can't exactly take her by, take her by the hand and walk her down there. I wondered if I could knock her out. Madison thought. Then on the trail of thought, I wonder if I should knock her out. Naomi, honey, <laughs> she said, putting on her most soothing motherly tone. We need to get a hand looked at. That We need to get that hand looked at. She moved up to Naomi again, who'd once turned away from the corner and was gone back crying. <laughs> so let's get some clothes on, wake Kane up, and go to the infirmary. I'm sure any, everything will be okay, but we have to do something. She tried once again to put a hand on Naomi's shoulder. Get the fuck away, I said! <laughs> Naomi screamed, spinning around and striking up with an injured arm and hand and open palm slap. I read that completely wrong. Madison cried out as they felt... Hang on, the word the <laughs> Madison cried out as she felt the teeth of Naomi's palm drag across her cheek, splitting open her flesh. Hot blood rushed down the side of her face and stumbled back. She stunned, rolled back. stunned by the blow. She clamped the hand to her face, feeling the sticky warmth of her blood gushing from three deep gashes varying lengths. She tasted the blood on her tongue and winced and realized she realized that she tasted the blood oh, hang on she tasted the blood on her tongue and winced and she realized at least one of the cuts had gone straight through her cheek mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit, Naomi! <laughs> God damn it, I'm trying to help you! What the fuck? Ask for your help! Naomi screamed. She was no longer facing the wall, but staring at Madison with bludgeoning crazy eyes. <laughs> she had her mutated hand held beside her. Madison glanced at it and felt a wave of nausea as she had spotted the palm. Mm, the palm. As, <laughs> as spotted the bomb mouth open and flick out a dark tongue to lap her blood. I wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> the edges of the palm mouth curved upwards and pleasure into a pleasant smile. As it smiled, Naomi swayed as if suddenly struck by a wave of dizziness. Her head dropped and she shook it clear before looking back to Madison, mimicking the palm's mouth smile. You want to help so badly? Fine. Fucking help, then. Naomi launched herself at Madison, who screamed and jumped back. The back of Madison's leg hit against the cot and she flipped backwards, sliding off the other side of the cot, landed hard against the floor. Her legs splayed apart and resting on the edge of the cot a moment later and Naomi returned to the line of sight of the young woman and leapt to the cot tower to cot to the cot to tower over Madison's fallen form. You can do that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, Maddie? Naomi growled. I don't remember you putting up this much of a fight the last time I wanted to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Madison tried to kick her back across the floor. Naomi jumped off from the cot and dropped down to Naomi jumped from the cot and dropped down on top of her. Sex <laughs> so, you'll find out. Madison screamed and flailed her arms trying to shove Naomi away. Her legs kicked out, aiming for anything she could hit. Naomi's only response to the kicks were to purr, uh, were, was a purr of what sounded like pleasure. Terror rushed through Madison's veins and her heart pounded in her chest as she fought to get away from the friend and lover turned monster. Don't I know it? <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, I don't know what the fuck is going on with you, but you need to snap out of it. Madison yelled at the naked Asian girl perched on top of her. For such a small thing, she seemed ridiculously strong. The more Naomi settled on top of her, the less the su success Madison had in shifting her. Naomi! 
Madison screamed, trying to cut through whatever the mental haze had come over the girl. Snack the fuck out of me! <laughs> Naomi began to giggle. Looming over Madison, concealed in the jagged shadows and soft light, she looked demonic. Madison couldn't see Naomi's face well, very well, but she swore her lips had split apart, widening her grin to an unnatural horror show. The giggle ended abruptly. You don't want to play with me anymore? She grumbled. But I still want to play with you. And you're not in any position to say no, bitch. Naomi backhanded Madison across a slashed cheek, bringing flesh, fresh tears of pain to Madison's eyes and sending a spray of blood streaking across the floor. <laughs> Tucson! To block Naomi's next move, Madison was helpless as the young Asian woman, P.S. She is Asian, woman <laughs> used her mutated hand to grab at Madison's right tit. <laughs> Madison. Okay. Madison's body went rigid, head shooting back and howling out of a scream of agony as the jagged teeth embedded into Naomi's palm shredded through her nipple and into the beautiful breast. Blood and fat gushed over. God, do I want to end <laughs> Blood and fat gushed out of the wound as Naomi used a demonic palm to chew the flesh to chew her tip. Chew her tit off her chest. <laughs> I'm literally becoming sober reading. Really. <laughs> Better than black coffee. I think this may be the first time that I will piss myself. I out. told you I wanted your tits, Naomi laughed. Looks like I get to have them. Madison went dizzy with shock, nearly passing up from the pain. She wished she would. She'd never felt anything so bad in her life. She'd never... Felt anything so bad in her life. You probably didn't type this voice. <laughs> she felt Naomi shifting on top of her, letting, letting up on the pressure on her chest, but by that point, it was too weak and too much pain to get away. A moment later, when Naomi's demon hand moved down between her legs, <laughs> she wished she had at least tried. She screamed her lungs out, pounding into the clenched fist and at the... Okay, hang on. She screamed her lungs out, pounding her clenched fists against the ground until her knuckles were bloody and the bone of her finger snapped in a failed attempt to try and beat away the anguish of the having the core of her womanhood brutally eaten away. <laughs> her vision went hazy and of the and one of the teeth speared her clitoris and shredded through the tiny nub of nerves turning it into a bloody tatter of unuseless flesh. Darkness swam in, drawing her down and away into a merciful death. <laughs> you can there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yay, Jen! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to cover <laughs> You don't want to read more, Jed. No. <laughs> Her clitoris? <laughs> Did she die? You'll have to read more to find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs>